Hi there, I'm Krista Cullen. I'm an ex-GB international and I'm one of the Wimbledon ambassadors. And I wanted to take you through today just a few little bits and bobs that you can do whilst in lockdown to keep you active and keep your hockey mind uh, working. So I'm a defender. So it was important to me to bring in some defensive principles. I know it's not easy and it's not realistic when you haven't got an attacker running straight at you. But what I wanna do is start getting people into the right body position. And sometimes it's a lot lower than you actually think. So what I've done here, as you can see, is separated out some balls uh, in sort of a semi-circle uh, position. And the idea is to be here in, in this position to start with. Then what I want you to do is to go in and out to each of those balls. And the idea is to make sure you don't ever end up in this very flat square position. Because as defenders, if we end up square with the ball at any stage, of course the, the attacker can then take us in either direction. So I want us to be in an athletic position, in as if we're gonna make a tackle and back out again. So just to demonstrate for you, okay, we're gonna head out and low and back. 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 And the final one, and back. You will notice as I go in for the tackle, I'm putting my left foot forward and staying in this position to make the tackle, okay? If I end up what I call in a potty squat position, in this position, my agility and ability to get in to out is a lot slower. Whereas if I'm in this position to come back out again, I can still stay in contention for the ball. So it's about being agile, about getting into that position and back out of it again and then if you've got a parent or a fellow teammate or a sibling even better and they can just shout to set color cones if you're lucky enough to have those or whatever you need to do and then you'll work on your backhand tackle and back so as I get into this position you will see my knee is nearly touching the floor I'm in a very low position because it's quite difficult for attackers to try and get around me with long reach and commitment in to out and stay really really athletic all right it's tough on your lungs as you can tell by the fact I'm panting away so I want you to do three or four sessions of that going out to the five points and back again for you okay we're gonna head out and low and back head out and low and back Head out and low and back. Head out and low and back. And the final one. And back. Then you will work on your backhand tackle and back. For you. Okay, we're gonna head out and low and back 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 and the final one I'm putting my left foot forward and staying in this position to make the tackle. For you, okay, we're gonna head out and low and back. 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 And the final one, and back. Okay, we're going to head out and low and back. 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 And the final one, and back. And now I want to just show you some bits around hitting the ball. I get so frustrated traveling all over the UK and other countries coaching children that just don't hit the ball properly, okay? And the tendency that I see is that we get very close to the ball when we tend to hit it and our bodies 
are too close to the ball so you end up almost coming up on the ball like this so one of my little tips guys is to use a tennis ball okay because it's pretty unforgiving and it gives you direct feedback and the thing that I'd like you to do is we never have to hit a stationary ball anymore at all okay our sport has moved so much from when I start, first started playing it that now you can push the ball out ahead of you step into the ball like this and it's the weight that's coming from my back foot okay to my front foot here to be able to hit the ball okay when I go to a lot of schools we end up quite upright and hitting it like that my ability to get power is reduced because I'm not using my body and weight transfer from this leg to this leg okay it's one of the reasons I was in the team was an ability to hit the ball and hit the ball hard okay so just to take you through that I know I'm on a pretty uneven surface here I want you to push the ball on a 45 degree angle see that okay it's not in front of me so I'm constantly chasing the ball okay it's push the ball on a 45 degree angle okay I know I'm on grass and I never train on grass but out there so you can actually step into the ball to hit it okay you will notice that my left hand is ahead of the ball and the shaft of the stick is completely flat so you can see it nice and clearly so as I hit the ball there I'm hitting it really flat and really true okay so that is the technique and my body is still agile okay and athletic okay and it's really important that you guys do that so if I just come here to get a better angle okay so as I push the ball forward okay I step in okay and then I try and hit the ball make sense I slightly topped it if you can see that the ball came up in the air there okay so the luxury if you did have the luxury is just have a wall about 20 yards ahead of you okay because then you can do two types of exercises one is putting the ball in the correct position there, stepping into it and hitting it. And then depending on how well you hit it, the rebound will come back at you and you've got to try and trap the ball, okay? Get your eyes down the line of the stick. You'll notice when a bouncing bomb's coming towards me, look at my body position, very low to the ground and a bouncing bomb coming and my eye line is straight down the line of the ball. See that? Okay, I don't have a wall here, okay, but that's one of the exercises if you're on your own, hitting the ball, okay, and then having it come back to you so you have to react really quickly and try and trap it. Okay, so just to get this technique right, okay, push the ball out on a 45 degree angle there, and then we step into it, okay, in order to hit it. So there, to be able to hit it. Okay, that was terrible. So difficult on an uneven surface. Okay, so from here, push the ball out in front of you. There, okay, that's a bit better. And as you can see, I swung through the ball there. Okay, my body weight transfer was going forward. Right, just to finish off, if you just come a little bit closer to me here, okay, I'm just gonna get a very, very able assistant um, to come and help me. So one second, let me just grab her. A lot of us have dogs okay and they're great in these circumstances as long as they're relatively trained now they're with me Quinn come on you can do this okay sit up and you stay you stay okay stay sit and stay to take you through this technique this is what we do when we aerial the ball let me just hide the ball whilst Quinny gets excited when we aerial the ball guys it's much like when we hit it it's the transfer of weight from right to left. So what I want you to do, you're in a hockey playing position. You tuck this into your elbow. You see that? Okay, so this is like an extension of my arm. Then if the ball was in front of me here, I would go underneath the ball and it's the weight transfer. You'll notice my weight is on my back foot to then push through, to then use my body to fling the ball forward. 
okay? So the idea of having Quenya here to help me out is when I do that technique, I hopefully throw the ball down the line of the runway here that we're on and the animals in the background, chuck it down there, she'll hopefully return it and I'll be able to do it again. So stay, Quenny, stay. So the ball is here. Address the ball, it's front of your stance. See that, the front of your stance, you get underneath the ball and you throw it forward, ready? Okay, I went slightly to the left, but Quenny's doing a great job. Bring it to you, Quen. Come on, girl. Good girl. Come here, hey, come here. Don't get distracted by a butterfly or something. Good girl. Give, give, give. Sit up, sit up. Stay. Okay, one more of those. Stay. So I pulled the ball slightly round to the left. Now, obviously, it's harder with a tennis ball because of course it hasn't got any weight to it and it's not a hockey ball. So I'll do that one just to finish off. But here, okay, the ball is at the front of my stance, okay? Make sure you're not here like this and I'm not digging a grave, okay? I'm not doing that and changing my stance. I'm in a hockey playing position underneath the ball and throw it, ready? There we go. Touch it quick. Good. Come on, bring it to you. Bring it to you. Good girl. Okay, for the final one, I'm just going to do, thank you, give, thank you. I'm going to do it here with a hockey ball. Okay, sit up, Quinn, sit up, sit, sit, stay. Okay, my able assistant is there to do the fetching for me. With a hockey ball, it's heavier. Of course, it's heavier, all right? So make sure you really use that transfer of weight. And it's not about the distance that you get. Okay, it's about working on your technique. So from here at the front, you get underneath the ball. Use your stick. You are only gonna get underneath the ball if you address it correctly, right? So bend this back knee. You see how low I am to get underneath the ball and you almost pick it up like that, see that? Okay, so underneath the ball and then throw it forward, okay? Ready, here we go, one. Catch it. Good, so whilst Quenny's bringing it back, um, try all these new skills, guys. This is the perfect opportunity in lockdown to get your practice in, okay? So if you wanna be the best you can be, it's about commitment, it's about working hard, and it's about using your resources that you got nice and close. Good luck with it, enjoy it, have some fun, and we'll see you back at Wimbo soon. Cheers, guys.